Hi guys, welcome to the fourth and final video in this tutorial. In this video we will fix the problem with the legs intersecting uh, and we will finish up the animation, right? So last part guys, let's begin. All right guys, so I realized after watching the whole video that we need to finish it up by fixing those legs intersecting with each, with each other, right? I mean, it's not a complete tutorial if we don't fix that problem. So I will show you how to fix it. And this is in the polish phase of animation, right? That it's, it's, a, it's the part that takes a long time to do and you have to do a lot of back and forth. So let's, let's, let me just show you what we do with this problem. So we need to fix those legs. Uh, and what we need to do is we need to select all these IK uh, targets here. Okay, all the legs, that's all the four legs. And then we need to, cause it's the Y. Okay, what we need to do is we need to scale the animation down so it the spider doesn't take as long steps with the legs. So we need to scale the Y uh, curve down, right? After that, we need to move the legs around because it will look a little wonky. Uh, let me just show you, uh, it's easier. So we select all the Y uh, axis on all the selected legs. Like this and then again select all the keys like this so now everything is selected and then I will scale it down in the Y so S for scale and Y for the Y axis and I will try and make it like half let's see this is the full size and we'll scale it down to maybe about half something like this so now when you look at it it takes a lot smaller steps right but it also means we can spread the legs out a bit more and all these you know these ones the pole targets the reason why we don't scale those down also is is because they're pointing in all kinds of directions so if i just scale them on the y they will move uh, not just on the Y in the world, it will move in their own local Y, right? So this one will go out here. So we can really, we need to adjust these um, in the end. So what we need to do now, take the first two legs and over here, the Y is already selected. Let's just play in the spider here. So we need to move them up grab and Y so they will reach further away you see how far they're reaching now still smaller steps but they're reaching out longer so this looks fine to me then we do the same for the back legs All right let's start with the with the outer extremes first then play the animation grab and on Y then we need to move them down to make them reach further back so maybe something like this you see now the tip the tip of the legs are not touching each other now we need to move the second leg um, a little more forward because there's room for a little more so grab it and Y forward so we're kind of in between the first and the third leg. There's something like this. And the third leg looks fine. So now it also looks wonky. And that is because now we need to go in to these ones. Go to the top view. Right, and we need to go over here where the keyframes are. See, and we need all the legs to be straightened out. All the way through the animation. See now it bends. 
I actually think we don't need these two keyframes. We can delete those, I think. And then this, this is a hard one. I'm not sure why this is a hard keyframe, but we should make it automatic. So it's kind of soft. So now it goes soft here. You see when it goes up, it, it, it turns around slowly. So, and we cannot do this at the same time. So we need to do it one at a time. So we go into the middle keyframe here and then we just move it so that the leg is straight like this. And then we set a keyframe. So now the whole front leg is straight. See that? Let's do it on the other one as well. So we delete these two keys. We make this one an automatic and then we move this like so set a keyframe make sure that it, the leg is straight here it's also straight so now it's straight all the way then we go to the next leg see it's the same thing we have to delete these two because we did all the animation at once in the beginning that means that all the legs are the same they created in the same way so automatic and then we move it so the leg is straight set a keyframe make sure that it's straight all the way this, this could be better so we straighten it out set a keyframe and we do now we, we should just right set a keyframe Okay, of course, we need to copy this over to the end. And then we need to make it. We don't need to make this one hard. All right, so let's see the next, it's just the next leg. So delete these two, make this one automatic. And then Grab it and move it back so it's straight. Check the first keyframes again. We need to make it more straight. And then we duplicate it. So the last leg here. Remove those two. I mean, it's the same thing. There's actually no reason for me to talk right now. You should, you should get it. Drain it up and copy it to the last one. So now all these legs over here are not intersecting with each other. Right, the spider takes smaller steps now, so it takes a little longer for it to get there. But you speed it up in the, in your engine, or just select everything and, and speed it up, right? So it moves faster. So second leg, remove this two, automatic. And then copy over the keyframe, like this. And then we have the third leg, delete these two, set this one to place, set keyframe, and move it in place. And then the last one, I mean, this is, there's no way around that things like this will take time. I mean, this happens on all animations, there's a point where you are kind of tweaking everything and polishing so it, it just looks good to make it final otherwise you'll be lying in bed in the evening thinking ah, why, why didn't I just fix it? it it's good enough as it is and then you're not really satisfied with it right 
and then as soon as you get it into a game or whatever you're never going to come back to it and fix it so fix it while, while you're here so here we have it I'm sorry there was a discord pop-up and I can see right now again I will skip the last step here but what I would do actually I'm going to use this uh, spider and this walk cycle in my game so I'm going to put more polish into it but I'm not going to do it here because then we have a three hour long video right but what I wanted to do here is that I can see that there's room for bigger steps again I mean when we scale the steps down I just took it down about half size uh, and then I tried all this uh, I can see now and I can scale it up a bit to get a little bigger steps and then I have to go and tweak all the keys again like I just did and uh, so it's just going back and forth to you to, till you get the result you want right there's no intersecting legs right now which is uh, <laughs> what I wanted right I, I mean I can't end the tutorial with a walk cycle where all the legs are intersecting yeah so sorry guys i was just about to skip this last part because i didn't want the tutorial to be too long but i mean it's already long so uh, and <laughs> i don't know how many people gets to the end anyway so i might as well just put it in there for those who who are hardcore enough to uh, go all the way right so uh, thank you very much for being here and watching um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I know I'm rambling a lot and I'm mumbling a lot and I'm I'm saying the wrong things all the time and um, but hopefully this will be better in time when I get used to uh, you know speaking into a microphone so um, yeah I hope you got something out of this and uh, that you can use that in your own projects when you're doing walk cycles and again this applies to uh, to human walk cycles as well all right just animate both legs at the same time and then offset it afterwards and then put on that modifier that uh, loops the curves so you can easily offset it and make changes like it's it's easy and it's fast and it's simple to do so again thank you very much for watching guys and see you next time